What's going on everybody? This is Gary from Killer Offered Hobbies and today we're going to be upgrading the Red Cat Rampage XBE one fifth scale size buggy. Sorry I know it's a little dark in here. Um, this is my workshop basically. I'm in my garage and everything's a mess as you can see because I have literally just been like rebuilding and you know, just working on a bunch of different RCs and I haven't had time to get anything really cleaned up. So bear with me with the kind of mess on the workbench, but this is the important thing. As you can see, the front shock tower is off already. And when we pull the body off, there's a bunch of work I've already done on this thing. Uh, pulled this brace off. I've actually got uh, the center spur out already um basically what i was doing is i was just repairing this thing because i was going to take it out for one last bash and then review it in its stock form but i realized that the the esc mount mounting plate had broken and uh I went ahead and I wanted to go ahead and fix that so I ordered up a whole plastics kit. I got the rear chassis brace, front chassis brace, this top plate right here, and the ESC plate. And when I started, you know, tearing it apart and everything, I figured, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and upgrade this thing <laughs> right now since I'm literally tearing it down anyways. So um, I went ahead and I got the motor and I got the ESC ready and I'll grab those real quick. So what I'm going to be running in this thing is the Trackstar 34 volt max 8S LiPo ESC. I mean this thing is an absolute beast. You can see it in my hand. I've got pretty big hands and this thing is huge, huge, huge. Like I said, it's 34 volt 8S. Um, I got the XT90s on there. This thing's ready to go. And uh, I picked this up for, I think it was $130 online. So that is not bad for an ESC with that high voltage rating. And I'm hoping that 8S isn't even gonna make this thing sweat because it is capable of up to uh, 34 volts. And to go with that, I went ahead and I got this beast. Now this is the Trackstar T282Y 780 kV brushless motor. This thing measures in at a whopping 58 by 110. This thing is an absolute monster. Uh, bear with me, sorry. I Like I said, everything's a mess, but just to uh, put it into perspective, this with the heat sink is, uh, with the heat shroud, I mean, is, look at that. This is a big motor. Like, this is a really big motor. It's probably a 42 by 82. And just look at that, how that motor just dwarfs this thing. 980 kV. This is 780 kV. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty pumped on this. So a word to the wise though, if you're planning on doing this build, make sure you can find a, uh, a Kershaw Designs kit somehow to put in here because I dove into all this thing. I got the electronics and everything and I didn't realize that Kershaw Designs is down right now or uh, I heard the guy that owns it or runs it or whatever is sick right now or something but he's out of stock on this stuff so just make sure you can get your hands on it before you go ahead and try this conversion um, I gotta give a huge shout out to Rich Duper Bash for hooking me up with vanning uh, from a from a fist scale form he actually sent me this uh, little baggie with the instructions it comes with the ESC mounting plate and an aluminum servo mount so we're gonna do all of this stuff today guys like I said I got everything is pretty much out so the stock motor mount is this guy right here 
So you just take the three screws out of the bottom, no big deal. And you pull this out and uh, you also have to pull out the other side of the spur gear mount so you can take the spur gear out and you just install this other basically holder retainer for it and then uh, you're we're going to mount the motor to this motor mounting plate and then we're going to mount all of this in so i'm going to go ahead and mount the motor to this plate show you how it's done and then i'm going to reinstall the center spur just by putting the four screws through the bottom of the chassis super easy stuff so yeah let's get into it all right everybody so i put this uh top chassis brace back in right here um i got the center spur mounted it's not a diff it's just a straight drive but i do want to make a note to everybody that does this application on the Red Cat Rampage XBE. These grub screws and these output cups were not thread locked. So I went through the front, the two in the center and the rear, went through and thread locked those. So make sure you, uh, you go through that um, because there's gonna be a lot of power coming through this thing and you wanna make sure that everything's nice, tight and thread locked. I also thread lock these two screws right here that goes into that aluminum uh, center spur mount. I will be thread locking these two right here. Um, I don't tend to thread lock stuff that goes into the motor because the motor gets hot and it kind of, you know, it kind of doesn't make any sense. But uh, I was going to run, it comes with a 12 tooth pinion, the kit. I was going to run this 14 tooth, but unfortunately I can't because the way this thing's designed, I think the highest pinion you can go is a 12 tooth because my 14 tooth hits this uh, mounting screw and it's such a tight squeeze that you would be uh, kind of not, you know, on your center spur a little bit if you were to push it out that little bit to clear that screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the 12. I might try that later with the 14 tooth just kinda held out just a little tiny bit. Everything's metal, everything's big, but this is a real strong motor. Um, another thing I want to point out before I start putting this thing completely back together is that you need to remove and leave out this uh, front chassis brace. Um, this motor mount chassis plate thing works as the chassis brace because before there's just that piece of plastic and this piece of plastic that brace the front of the chassis. So this is going to be much better I think and it's in line with all of this other stuff. So it should do as good if not much better um, but I'm gonna go ahead get the motor put in get the gear mesh set up and we'll be right back alrighty everybody so I went ahead sorry for the glare um, I went ahead and mounted the ESC all I did was put um, some double-sided M3 tape on the bottom and uh, a couple zip ties over the top just to uh, reinforce it down it's on there nice and snug um, with this new setup, the plastic spur gear guard doesn't um, doesn't fit over all of this. So I just kind of made sure that my wires are not going to touch that. I mean, even if I push down, they're not going to touch that. So that's going to be good. Um, I ran my receiver wires over alongside here. I got this zip tie right here and they're gonna just run into the box. So. I also, to keep with the uh, Trackstar theme, I'm going to set it up to this Trackstar transmitter, the TS3T. It's got a LCD screen and everything. So I got a receiver coming for this. So when it gets here, I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, bind it and connect it 
up in here so we'll be running pretty much all track star on another note this uh aluminum servo plate or servo mount whatever you want to call it uh the stock servo does not fit in here the stock servo is a little bit too tall or a little bit too thick to fit in here so for the time being i'm just gonna go with the plastic ones until this servo either um, goes out or whatever and then i'll upgrade the servo and put the aluminum servo mount now a word to the wise for anybody that wants to do this um yeah make sure you read the instructions and everything because i kind of just looked at it and i was like oh okay that's how it goes and uh you know just kind of dove into it and i had to put it in and take it apart several times um just to get it to fit in here right and work right and this motor is absolutely huge and like i said i had to drill that hole and i actually had to drill that hole because it would not have mounted in the other hole so you know kind of do your research when you want to do this um i think a 110 millimeter motor might have worked but i mean you would have been really really pushing it because the hole is over here you can actually see it and I had to drill it up here just a little bit and that made it to where my pinion had to slide further back and now that it's all mounted and everything's tight I might be able to get away with that 14 tooth but it would be really 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 close to the uh, motor mounting screws so I'm gonna stick with the uh, the 12 tooth still if it's not enough I'm sure it's gonna be but if it's not enough I'll go ahead and try the 14th 14 tooth maybe even get a 13 but as for now I mean this is set up the gear mesh is set see and uh, ESC is on I mean this thing's pretty much ready to drive other than you know putting the servo back in and stuff but next we're gonna do the tires so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these tires off and then show you guys what's going on as i said do your research on this make sure you can find one of these uh kershaw design mounting uh motor mounting plates and everything before you actually buy all this stuff because i got really really lucky in um being able to acquire this and uh actually do this build